it's great to be here at the Sports Aid One to Watch Awards and just to be mingling with all these other amazing sports people, just kind of seeing people and hearing other people's inspiring stories and to be recognised for all the hard work that I've put in this year. It's really, it's really amazing and it makes me feel really privileged and proud to have achieved what I have and be alongside such incredible people. Basically what we're doing is looking at what, what might the future hold. So we had 10 shortlisted athletes and honestly all of them, all of them have got incredible world and European titles already and then we had to narrow it down to the top three and one final winner. So that was what tonight was all about. Every year it does feel like the standard goes up and that, that you always think at some point it can't keep going but it does. But also the diversity of sports is really exciting because you, you know, I think this country has got better and better recognised globally as, as a country that we don't just perform in a few narrow sports and get known for that. Sports Aid is often the first sort of hand that reaches across that gap to say we believe in your future and your potential and I think that, that confidence that Sports Aid gives people as, as well as the financial support and the recognition makes a huge difference in young people's lives at that point in their career. It gives me the butterflies and the buzz uh, of seeing them compete, seeing them all do so well. And it makes me really happy because it tells us that the future of British sport is very, very bright. Um, you always do think about what's coming next, who's uh, going to be the next generation of great stars. And I think we've definitely seen some of them tonight. To think back to all those memories of just before I broke through, to have an organisation like Sporte believe in me to where I am now, it's very, very surreal. And um, I'm very honoured to be in great company uh, among to many sports aid alumni. It's incredibly special for us to be part of the nightlight tonight because you know times are really difficult at the moment economically, politically, in the corporate environment for, but for young athletes we can't let anything hold that ambition and their talent back so for RBC to be part of that is incredibly inspiring for us. Amazing. I think at RBC we have a real commitment to supporting young people. We have as a bank decided that young people are our future and that that is where our investment should be. So to be able to support athletes like this and imagine that one day they'll be representing Team GB at the Olympics is an extraordinary thing to be a part of. We're, we all know how much sacrifice and how much hard work we put in and to, to come third and to be recognised by a company like Sports Aid is absolutely incredible. It's amazing and like, so many amazing athletes, all 10 people here are absolutely incredible and to be even second is outstanding and I'm so proud. I was very shocked because there were so many amazing athletes here, everyone's done so many good achievements this year and to be the winner is incredible. This evening has been amazing to see other athletes just like me and that have done amazing achievements, it's just blown me away really.